Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on the basics of Land School. Land School is a supervision software that allows us to manage our student devices while they're using the internet or not. Uh, so we can control a little bit more what they are seeing, what they are doing with this wonderful tool. So what you're going to um, be sure that you're able to do is just a few simple things. And so while we're going through this video, if you will follow along, so if you'll play the video and then pause and then practice so that uh, you can learn how to do these things if you don't know already how to do them. All right. So what you see here in front of us, this is a spreadsheet that I shared with you that has the current, um, the cart numbers as well as the lab, num um, the computer lab rooms, and you'll see how many computers there are, what they, what's in that room, is it a netbook or a desktop, where it is, and then over here you'll see the land school channel, okay? So this document's going to be real important for you when you figure out uh, which card it is you're working with or which computer room, uh, computer lab you're working with, all right? So we know that this is where we access the actual channel names because we're going to need the channel names so that our computers can control all the computers in that specific channel. All right. Now what we're going to do is uh, we are going to actually open Land School and the channel that we are going to use today is 2101. So it's a library channel. I'm in the library. I want to look at the computers of the students here, although they're all gone. Okay, so we're not going to see anything. But that's the channel number we're going to use. Okay. So to open Land School, you look down here and you'll see this circle with the little bubbles. This is the land school icon. All right. If you don't see it in this bar, then click on this show hidden icons tool or button. And you'll it's not in there because it's already open. But a lot of times if you can't find it, uh, you click on that and it should be running in the background. These are programs that your computer is running that you don't know. And land school is one of those that hides out back there. All right. So mine is here. So I'm going to click on that icon. To launch land school. Hopefully it will open up. I have it open. I'm going to open this. And you'll see right now that I have no computers on here. What I need to do is I need to um, I need to get my channel in there. So to add your channel the 2101 is the one I want to add. We're going to go to Administer, and then we are going to go to Preferences. Okay, Here, you want to make sure that the Network tab is opened, and you want to make sure that you click on this IP Multicast. The next thing you want to do is down here in the bottom, it says Teacher Channel. Right now, I'm currently connected to 2116. I want to be connected to 2101. So you type it in there and you click OK. So what I've just done is I've told my computer with the Landware software that I want to connect to the computers that are on channel 2101. So you can see right now there's only three computers that are actually on and no students are logged in because it's after hours. Um, but you can see, now I can see what's going on with those three computers. There should be you know, 28 computers that I could see on this channel if they were all logged in. All right. So, so far we've opened Land School, we found our correct channel, and we've loaded our teacher channel. The next thing that we want to do is look at some of the web limiting options. So if you look at your bar up here, we're going to start with our limit web because we want to be sure that we are able to limit websites, so that we can block, that we can allow um, to help better monitor what our students are seeing and doing with their instructional and, uh, and their educational time. So what I want you to do is under where it says limit web, click on this arrow, and we're going to go down. We're going to configure. We're going to set up web limiting. All right, here you'll see we're on the web limiting tab and you have the option to block all web browsing so they can't look at any stuff. You know, they're doing research, you just want them typing, you don't want them looking anything up. Um, so you could block all websites, 
You could allow only some websites, so you only want them going to these five places today. That's it. You would load those there. Or you want to just block certain websites. You want them doing research, you want them all over the place, but you don't feel that they need to be on YouTube that day. Okay? So first, um, let's show you how you would enter into a blocked website. So today I have my students um, completing a web quest. They're going to be all over the place. I just want to make sure that they're not watching music videos. So I want to block YouTube. You type in YouTube.com and you would click OK. Notice nothing happens. Okay, so I have configured my web limiting. YouTube should be blocked, but nothing's happening. What we need to do is we need to show Land School which computers to block. So I want to block this student from watching YouTube. I would highlight their computer. When the red box is around it, that means that that computer is being worked with. And then I want to limit the web. You see now that this computer has this little icon on it. The exact same one is up here. So right now this computer is being blocked from YouTube. All right. If I want to block all the computers from YouTube, you can do Control A, Control All, and now you see that all three of them are red. But notice only this middle one has the Limit Web icon. So if I click on Limit Web, it goes off there. I click on it again. Now every computer that's logged in right or that's on right now um, is blocked from YouTube. I can click off. I'm not working with that computer anymore, but those computers are blocked. Why is that? Okay. Now, another thing that uh, you will want to be able to do is unblock. Right? You don't want these computers blocked anymore. So you control A again. Oh, sorry. Control A. I click on the limit web icon. It goes away. It should. <laughs> it goes away. Now none of those computers. Why is it doing this? Now none of these computers should be blocked. All right. Let's go back and configure our web limiting again. So let's say this time we only want to allow a certain website. We're going to go to limit web. You're going to go to the allow list. Ugh, sorry. Sorry. Now we're going to go configure web limiting. All right. So you can either only allow or block. You can block all. You can allow some or you can block some. So now we're only going to allow certain websites. So let's say I just want them on um, pbs.org for today. I'm going to click OK. And now my students because I've limited their web, we're, are only able to go to PBS. That's the only thing they'll be able to see. Okay, So this is the tool that you use to set up those websites that you want to allow or that you want to block. You can load as many as you want into here. All right, And when you click OK, it saves it when you are on that channel. All right. The next thing I want to show you is um, how to control more than one or more than one computer and um, not just all the computers. So let's click out of here. I'm going to click OK. I don't want these computers to be limited anymore. I don't want, um, let's say I don't want this computer to be limited anymore. I click on that computer. It's highlighted and now it knows that I'm working with just that computer. Now let's say I want these two uh, to be unblocked. I click on one, and if I hold down the shift bar, I can select the second one. So now the two of them are red instead of just one. And then I can click on the limit web to turn it off, click on it to turn it back on again. This computer's being kind of, this is not working 100% correctly, I think, because the computers are um, about to sleep. Okay, so we know how to. Control all the computers, control one of the computers, or just um, a couple of them. So control A will control all. Control A will control all of them. If you just click on one, and when it's red, it means you're going to work with that. And if you hold down the shift, and you can select 
as many of the computers as you want. Okay? Once it's no longer red, um, that means that you are no longer controlling that computer. All right, the last thing I want to show you today is how you can actually um, control a computer, how you can um, take over control of someone's computer. So let's go to this middle one. And when it's red, you notice that this control um, icon up here comes on. All right, all of these that I could now do with this one computer um, become available. So I've clicked on that, I click off of it, notice nothing's being controlled, nothing's red, so this goes away. So I want to control, I highlight that computer, and let's control. Now you see this uh, crosshair. I can go in, let's say this student's got five tabs open, he's only supposed to be on two of those, I can go in and click him or her out of those websites that they're not supposed to be viewing. I could also type into the address line a place that I'd rather them be. All right. So controlling is real powerful, um, and it helps avoid some frustrations you might have by continuously telling somebody to stop doing something. Okay. To get out of control, you just stop viewing a remote control, and then you go back to your um, class list view. These are the basics of Land School to get you started. There's so many more things that we could do. We could send messages, we can take screenshots, we can send polls, um, we can shut down all the computers from here instead of walking around and turning them off. Um, so there's lots of stuff to do, but these are the basics that I wanted you to be able to um, complete. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. It's Sigmund, C S I E G M U N D C and I look forward to working with you all. Thank you.